We have here with us this evening another member of that uh, great three in a row team, Willie Cagney, Willie, who was a goalkeeper on that uh, on 51, 52 and 53 championship teams. He also won a, a West Junior Championship medal in 46 and a South Junior Hurling Championship medal in 1958. He also played Junior Hurling with Limerick in 51 and 52. Willie, you're very welcome. Thanks, Jenny. Thanks. Uh, when, did you, when did you start hurling? I started hurling uh, minor uh, about 1942. Uh, my first match was again Nakodera. Below in but that was that match I was in Ballingarry, right in front of the Creamery. Th- that was a minor hurling. Minor hurling. Could could you tell us some of the, the few names of the minor team that played with you that day? Well, um, Father Pat Kelly now, he'd be Paris Priest of Bulgarian. He was a corner back. Um, Artie Leary of Castleton, he was a the other corner back. Donnie Sullivan there of um, Gary Fine, he'd be son of Bill Sullivan, the postman. He was a uh, fullback. You had Tony Sullivan. You had um, John Chilton, he played with us. You had, um, what do I know, you had Michael Hayes, he was a lad that was up to the Danahers, he's in America now. Yeah. You had James Callahan of the Rose Court. And um, that would be uh, the bulk of them, like, you know. You came onto that Jonah team very early, at, around at the age of. 17 or 18 years of age, did you? 17 or 18, I'd say, yeah, around 17 or 18. And uh, did you play Jonah Championship with him in 1946? Yes, I did. I played in uh, McGinn Kaledi in Newcastle West, uh, in Drumcolour, rather. Uh, we won that match, actually, by two points that day, but the referee made a mistake in the uh, score, and it had to be replayed in Ballingarry. Yeah. But uh, I was on a man that day, he since did, he was Foxy Casey, Frank Casey. That was... Uh, in 1946. And who did he beat in the, in the West Final, will you? In the West Final of that year, or um, Kildaima. Well, I wasn't on the, that West winning team of that year. I played in the early stages with her right, but I wasn't in the final against Kildaima. Uh, 46, that was the year that uh, South Liberties beat him in Chrome in the, in the very stormy day, was That's it? That's right. Could you tell us something about that? Well, uh, before, they beat, um, before they met South Liberties, they met Pally Brown in the county semi-final in Adair. And I'd say it was easily one of the finest matches that was ever looked at. I remember Jimmy Morrissey that day. He had a, his, he had a broken big toe, as far as I remember. And he came on the field that day with a pair of Wellingtons. So we got it after half time anyway. He had to come in and he played a marvellous game after he scored points back over his head. I'll never forget that day. It was a great match yeah. and a very fast match. But they went on in to meet South Liberties in the county final in Chrome. And I don't think that was the worst they ever witnessed. I see umbrellas even turned inside out that day with yeah. the stardom. And uh, Castleton turned over with a great lead at half time. And uh, South Liberties scored so much with the wind that they eventually beat him. And that South Liberty's team, of course, you had the the, the Dolies and oh, Tony yeah. Clifford. They were they were great junior holders at oh, that time. Uh, young Clifford now was in the county junior team with me in '51, yeah. and uh, you had Paddy O'Day playing it, and you had Portland. Oh, you had some great holders in it that time. Yeah. But still, it was one county final that Castleton team were capable of winning. Yeah. Was that county final that year? We'll go on now, will you, to to '51. The, we'll talk about the Castletown team. Who do you meet in the in the championship? We'll say 1951. That was the start of the the three in a row. Um, uh, well, uh, we uh, well of course we met Nakodera, and uh, you know the usual teams back along. But uh, it finished up that we met Kilfinney in the final of that. Yeah. And we easily overcame Kilfinney. Nakodera had some good players. The, the Danahers now and George Lake and all. They were great players, weren't oh, they? They were. They were. We, it was the year after we met them then. Yeah. You had Sean Danaher and, and Jim and uh, Dave Gary and um, you had Din Sheehy. Oh, you had great great players at him. Yeah. Great players at him. The most of your, the most of your games really used to be played in either Ratkeel or Ballingarry, wasn't it? Ratkeel, Ballingarry and Adair were nearly the general winners. So. Ratkeel was your favourite Twice. pitch? Ratkeel was our happy hunting ground. Yeah, what about... Uh, could you tell us a bit about uh, that ju- that uh, journal team that you played with in, in 51, the Limerick journal team? The Limerick journal team in 51, I think they were captained by uh, South Liberties. Yeah. You had, um, I was in Gauls myself, you had Jerry Martin of Doon, 
full back. You had Budge Grady, Latimer Sim, Red Keel, Cardinal back. And you had uh, Jerry O'Brien, a brother of Tony O'Brien, the Patrick Swill. He was uh, the other Cardinal back. There was a few then from Liberties. And uh, there was a Bristol in there from Fedimer. Jimmy Dunahoe of Streety Sarsfields. And there was Batley from Boher. Carberry from Capamore as well. And uh, Donny Local, I think, in that team, uh, Bertie Milam's a soap in that team. And uh, the 52 uh, junior team, you played against Waterford down in Lismore in uh, the first round of the championship? Well, Sean Murphy and myself were the two uh, representatives from here in that team. And uh, that, that team was captained by Brewery. There was a lot of Brewery uh, players in that team Jimmy Burke, Mick Milan, Jimmy Carney, uh, JJ O'Brien, Mick Potter. It was mostly captain, to, it was mostly Brewery. There was an ID there from Cahan and Quite a few more, you know, but it was mainly Brewery. Did you do a special training, though? Know? Did you go into limited training for, for that no, championship? No, no training in the world. Only local training at home. We never trained outside of our own place for it. Uh, you, you, you must have been in hard luck so well, did you, last year, because they went down and won the month of June of championship that year? I did, actually, because uh, I was after getting uh, a knockout. You know, I was knocked up with flu at the time, and I didn't play at my best even that day, although we won. But still, I wouldn't... I didn't play as good as I should, you know. Yeah. So I was replaced in uh, goals then by uh, John Murray Patrick Swill. Yeah. And they went on to... Um, I think they won the home all Ireland that year, did they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that... Uh, or did Dublin beat them? I forget <coughs> now, actually. Yeah, Dublin, uh, Dublin beat them in Croke Park in the home final. In Croke Park, that's right. Uh, tell us a bit about the 1952 West Junior Championship now. Well, that, was, that was another one of the years that he won it. Um, the 1952 West Limerick Championship we played um, Newcastle and uh, we had uh, we played Newcastle in the Minehan Cup final previous to that and I said it was as fine a match as was ever seen in Red Keel so um, Jimmy Grady you know, he played he played with Limerick Jonas as well in my team he left from, for America after that match that evening. They beat us in the Minehan Cup final that night, but it was a terrible match. But we met him later on in, in the West Limerick final, and we reversed the decision. We beat him by a point after a great game, too. Yeah. Uh, Capamore beat you that year in the county final? Oh, they did. They outclassed us, actually, because they had great, they had great men that time. They had John Mulcahy and Paddy Kramer and... They had the Ryans there, and they were the Americans of a great team that time, so they won the county senior championship after. Yeah. And um, had you any regrets, Willie, really, that you didn't win a county junior championship? I had. I had. It was the one thing that eluded us, and uh, I thought we were capable of winning more than one of them, actually, but unfortunately, we never did. Who used to train you for those games? Well, we had Sergeant Keaton. He was over us that time here, and he was the main trainer we had, you know. And of course, we did. We we were engaged in a lot of tournaments and things at the time. We were nearly every day, every evening, Holland, and every Sunday, Holland. You know. You 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 want to share the tournaments at that stage? Could you tell us a few oh, about them? My first uh, medal ever winning with him would be in the late forties. We won the Charleville tournament again, Kilmarnock. I uh, happened to be playing full forward, a uh, half forward that day. Was marking Tom Kinney from Kilmarnock. He was. Yeah. An ex Limerick Journal Hurler too, and he was very good to give me his jaw. So later on, then we won the Newton tournament and we won the FINA tournament. And we missed a lot of others by small margins, but yeah. we happened to win them three anyway. But uh, before he left the West, he had uh, you, were, you were played on the team against that, that day against FINA in Ratkeel in 1956, it was a, a tough match. Uh, would you like to say anything about it or tell us something about the match, like describe the match to us? Well, uh, it was a match that... Uh, there was a terrible build-up to this match. There was The build-up was going on for a fortnight before it, I suppose, and things were at razor edge, uh, I'd say with both sides, and the tension was so high you could nearly hear a pin drop in the day in Red Keel, and the match started off, you had great men 
and both sides that they in great hollers, you know. And um, all the time the danger was that the bubble was going to burst and burst it did. And look people were lucky like that did a share get serious injury there but they got it put out all right. We won that match in the finish. But the West Board fed out both teams after and that finished that year. And uh, in fifty seven Willie you were transferred from the West Division to, to the South Division. Had you any regrets about leaving the West Division? Well I had because uh, I started hauling the West and it was hard to get into a new group and you were meeting new faces, you know, on the teams and it took a while to get used to. But the Holland in the South was different Holland to the West was easier Holland, you know, that it was harder than in the West. Uh, better venues of course, but still he, he went on and he, and he, and he won that, that South Championship in 1958 and very few people gave you a chance of doing it. Like. Oh, that's, that's right, that's right, we won that. Uh, that was again Banog, and uh, we, well, some of our old, all the team were gone that time, you know, but still we had a good team, and it like it took a good team to win it, for Banog were a good t side in the day. Could you tell us a few of the newcomers now, not at the 51, 2 and 3 team, but a few of the newcomers that went down and won that South Championship, would you? Well, uh, we had uh, Michal Sheehy, a good fast half forward. We had Pat Jawahand in, of course, in goals. I was playing right full back that day. And uh, we had Christy began, and uh, we had a few more now that don't come exactly to my memory, you know. But uh, a good even team, you know. There was there was a mixture of the youth and age in it, and like had they pulled it off anyway. Yeah. Would you see much of a difference now, uh, Willie, from the time that you were Holland to the present day Holland? Well, of course, uh, the, the roles have changed so much now. It was different Holland that time. It was harder Holland, it was more physical, you see, and um, you wanted to be all there for it. Yeah. You wanted to be all there for it. The Holland now, of course, may be faster, you know, but uh, as I said, uh, with the difference of the roles and the difference of the game now, it is a change game, you know. Yeah. Uh, we'll go to a few, a few of the clubs there now. <coughs> In the early 50s, like the drum color. Could you name a few of the players the drum color had? had some great players. Oh, they had. The one that would stand out most, of course, Derry McCarthy, a drum color. Uh, what would you think of Derry as a hurler? Well, I thought he'd no equal, actually, as a forward. No equal at all. There was another lad in out centre field, and he was Sean Costley. He went to England. He was a great centre field player. They had Sean Sheehan. He later became assistant commissioner of the Guards. He was a great hurdler. Sha uh, Donny Brother had a brother then. He also went in the Gads. He was a great hurdler with Drum as well. But uh, Drum had a great sweep of rain. You had Derry Savage and him now. They were a great combination. Hard team to, to beat. And uh, he had some great tussle with Newcastle West too uh, at that stage, around all years. Yes, I think our best, uh, our best tussles were with Newcastle. They had a fine set of hurlers and there was only the puck of a ball between us. You had Sean Armile in goals for Newcastle and he became goalie after for Western Gales and he was a very good goalie. You had um, an uncle of Tony Quaid's over here now. He, he was Barrett. He was playing full back. You had Bailey Connors. You had Pat Hayes. Pat played in the county journal team with me in 51 and 2. And uh, you had a great team in Newcastle. A lot of them know went to England, Paddy Devine, Sean Herbert, Paddy Salmon, John Nix. All players that were well worth their place yeah. in any team. And I remember the f one of the first matches I ever saw was a West final uh, with, with yourself and Nakadera. Nakadera had, had a goalkeeper the same day by the name of Sean Quinlevin, I think, and he, he nearly beat you. Well, Sean Quinlevin was outstanding that day, himself and his brother, Mort. And, you know, the two Quinlevins that we were beating that day, it was the two Quinlevins at basis. Uh, Sean in the forwards and Mott was in goals and the display he gave was, I think he was picked for the county team after it, but I didn't know that he ever turned up to it, you know. Uh, you, uh, could you show some of your, your uh, medals, Willie, that, uh, that you won, the championship medals? The first medal now, there's the 46 medal. This is the 51 medal. And this is the 52. 
this is the 53 middle and this is the south middle south limerick middle in 56 was this 58 58 yeah uh, very nice the things to have really indeed to have to have five championship medals and uh, this is the the jersey that you wore jordan does uh, the, the famous black and amber jersey yeah because uh, the jerseys have changed now the, the it is a different color now that the jerseys that the present club are wearing a different uh, yeah, black and amber, like you know. We had actually you now there were smaller hoops in them, you know, smaller black and smaller amber, you know. But uh, yeah, later then they got to be a bit wider, and uh, there's something like that up to the present day. Yeah. You know. Well, I think that uh, our time is uh, is coming to an end, but uh, it was very nice listening to you, Willie, and uh, we enjoyed it, and uh, we hope maybe to get back to you again, maybe at some other stage. Thanks very much, Willie. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Thanks.